Welcome back to 868 in 365 as we look back at some of the stories making headlines in 2019. But now it's time for you to tell us what you thought were the biggest stories this year. They legalized marijuana. That was the biggest one for um, 2019. I just want to thank God for bringing me from far. I mean, I went through trials, tribulations, but we all do. And I thank God for bringing me into 2019 safe and came into 2020. And I pray for everybody that will have health, life and strength. In 2019, the biggest story for me in Trinidad is that people were forced to give up their $100 bills in a short period of time, which is very inconvenient for people. And I feel that as long as they had those bills, when it's ready for them to exchange them, they should be exchanged for $100, just as they are, instead of being charged service fees. And I'm just really shocked that the people did not get together and petition against that. That's the biggest thing for me for 219 thus far, because I feel it's a justice to the people. Do people right. If you're saving money, now you got to go figure out where you put the money and try to get the stuff together and take it to the bank. It's such an inconvenience. And if it's fair, it's your money, you have the money, just exchange it for the same price that it is and be nice to the people and let the people bring it as they get ready to spend it. That's only righteous. The way you look is the only crime. It's time we have a limit on this crime. Change the dollar, the hundred dollars. Well, they had an election, let's take place. The change of the hundred dollar bills and the crime rate very high. So I'm more indoors right now. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I would say the police are working right now. Whoever government they put, crime go with the same way. You understand? Because the people who come in the country, they're joining with the Trinidadians, they're trying to ease crime, they're trying to take off the guns, and they still, people still bring in guns. You understand? So, I don't have a problem, you know, because I always walk safe and try to do the best of my ability. But in Barbados, I lived in Barbados for 19 years, and crime was the same thing. But not because Barbados is a smaller country to us, but it's the same thing. The thief, I, I lived here so many and they never break in my house. I lived in Barbados for 19 years, and they break up my place and thief my thing. So, I live in comfortable with everything. Bless God. The crime situation, especially in Trinidad here, I don't like because people, nobody is safe here anymore. I don't like the behavior of the people, especially how they're taking advantage of the um, senior citizen and these kind of things. That was my biggest problem. I, I think um, only the biggest news for me, well, and far as I've been keeping up with was what's been happening in England with Brexit. I think that's a, a serious thing and how it's impacting, you know, the UK and what would be going on over there as well with you know with the entire impeachment with Donald Trump and all that I think that's a really serious thing in terms of immigration and how things would be going on there I mean for, with foreign affairs now you know that would be definitely something to think about in the, com in the coming years you know the legalization of the um, marijuana where the family where its virtues have been discovered so smoke up 